Okay, so I wanted to talk to you today. Hi, my name is Jess Markowitz, Superstar Director of Jesse's Angels Saving Lives and group. And how funny, that's the first time I said that. I just promoted in uh, last month to Superstar Director, which is one of the first goals I've ever put on my dream board when I first started Sensi five and a half years ago. And it's still amazing and kind of uh, a little strange saying it out loud, to be honest with you, because it's something I've always wanted to be able to say, and now I get to say it. So anyways, hi. Um, I wanted to talk about just a little detail that could be so huge for you in your business, especially when you start to run your business really consistently and it's growing fast. Well, um, it's so important to make sure now that we have the blessings of technology and pretty much we run our lives through our phones, no matter what phone you have, um, is to put everything in your phone so you have access to everything. Meaning your clients, your team members, if you are a sponsor, um, adding their phone numbers, their names, their addresses, any details that you may need about them, keeping a file of notes in their phone profile so you can touch base and connect with them. And when they call, you kind of reconnect of what you spoke with them last about. I was just, um, especially when you, you know, we tend to change phones a lot, make sure that you are saving it into your, uh, if you have a, a, a if you have a, what's it called? <laughs> if you have an iPhone, save it into your cloud. If you have an Android um, or if you have Google emails, save it into your Gmail account. So if you're changing phones throughout the years, everything goes with it. Because the reason what sparked this is that I didn't do that. I didn't have an iPhone before and I did, even though I had an Android, I wasn't saving everything to my Google account. And so there were some of my team members, Frontline even, which Frontline are people that you directly sponsor, that I didn't have their phone number in my phone which is, a, is not good. You wanna have your team members in your phone so you can easily connect with them. So I went to connect with one of my frontline and I've spoken with her several times, but for some reason it didn't save into my phone. So I had to look up her phone in my, in my workstation, which took um, you know, more time than it needed to. You know, I was able to do it pretty, excuse me, fairly fast, but you know, time is very valuable. And so if you've got this much time and you have to use half of it to look up information, you know, it's, you may end up not having the time to do it anyway. So try to keep your time as, um, small, you know, effective as possible. So the first time you call a client or a customer, even if you've never, but they've never bought from you, the first time you dial that phone number, save it immediately into your phone. Put notes. Um, I was telling my team members earlier today that I use, and I, this isn't from me, another superstar director when I first started shared this with me, and I've just used it my whole career, and it's always worked well, is name like each person a, a little abbreviated uh, look, like label, meaning like a customer is C-U-S-T, and that is somebody that's only bought from me once, so I know that they've never bought from me before. Once they buy, you wanna change them into a client, C-L-I-E-N-T, and well, I'm sure you know how to spell client, right? Um, and when they become a consultant, you want to put turn them into a C-O-N, which is consultant. Um, I personally will label them F-L for frontline, so I automatically know. Now, usually your frontline, you're going to know who, what their name is, right? But here's a little, a little secret. As your business grows, your frontline may end up being people that have rolled up to you that you don't have necessarily the closest relationship with yet. And so you have not spoken to them or their name doesn't pop in your mind as fast as it would if it was somebody you directly sponsored. So you want to make sure you change that in your phone into FL so you know, oh wow, I am their sponsor. I you know, definitely um, need to make sure I'm connecting with that person a little bit more often. So that is my tip for the day, short and sweet. Do you have your clients, your customers, your team members, and frontline in your phone 
so you can um, make sure that you are easily able to connect with them. And when they connect with you, you know exactly who they are. You can answer the phone, hey, Cindy, how are you? And they're, and then they feel like, wow, you know, she has me in her phone, she, you know, I'm important to her. And um, it people like to hear your, their own names. So whether they think that or not, you're going to give them a, a smile on their face, a, a little tingle in their, their, you know, little goosebumps or whatever to make them feel special for even just a split second. So um, take that time then you don't have to take it after that. It's done, it's in there. And um, create maybe like a step-by-step -step, uh, checklist of things you do when you have new customers, new clients, and uh, new uh, team members. That have I entered them into my phone? Have I um, sent them out You know, a thank you card? Whatever your process may be, so you know that everybody gets that same treatment. And I will be honest with you guys, throughout the years, there's things that I've added. There's things that I didn't do with my team members or clients or customers when I first started because I didn't know to do it, first of all. Um, and secondly, I... Um, I just learn from new other people or just from experience that, oh, if I do this, this works best. So that was kind of my trial and error as far as um, immediately putting it in my phone. Um, the tip I learned from somebody else uh, the, about putting like the abbreviation in, but as far as uh, putting it immediately in my phone, I didn't do that until I, a little bit of a trial and error and forgetting about it. So um, that's my tip. I hope you have a great day and uh, let me know what tips you have. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share this channel to anybody that you think might it be helpful to. I've got hundreds and hundreds of, of how to's and you know just tips and um, I've kind of fallen off the face of the earth a little bit on YouTube because of Facebook Live lately and um, I realized I need to start getting back on here because I do have a lot of followers and I appreciate you guys for being um, uh, subscribers and followers so um, I will definitely be more intentional with making sure I share my tips on here again and I recently just found how to save my Facebook lives and put them on here so I will be getting uh, be able to get I'll give you guys a lot more content uh, even with the Facebook lives that I do so have a great day and um, a sensational day and I'll talk to you soon bye bye